One of the key tools for um, zero waste and sustainable resource management is the concept of highest and best use. But one of the things you'll find is if you Google that, you'll find mostly references from a land use perspective. Um, there uh, aren't real detailed analyses and standards that have been set up to define that for uh, the waste and recycling arena. <coughs> In fact, the first um, hierarchy of highest and best use for zero waste was just adopted in March 2013 by the Zero Waste International Alliance. Um, it was done in response to recognition that uh, in some locations they uh, were using uh, the hierarchy of EPA, of pollution prevention, which provided uh, incentives for burning materials and uh, saying that that was acceptable and zero waste is all about not burning and not burying our resources. Uh, so in order to counter the pollution prevention hierarchy support uh, and EPA support for uh, burning being better than landfilling, uh, this zero waste hierarchy of highest and best uses was developed. And it really underscores uh, the messages that have been discussed in sustainable resource management and zero waste throughout this training. Uh, we need to reduce and reuse as the first steps of zero waste, refuse, return, um, re refuse anything that will be a uh, discard for our business from our, our suppliers and return it to vendor, return it to sender if uh, we um, if they can't figure out how not to give us something that will be wasted. Um, ending subsidies for wasting is an important priority, uh, a way to influence the marketplace. Uh, there's $2.6 billion a year um, in America uh, that were documented in the 1990s uh, being used to subsidize the industrialization of America that are no longer needed but are continued uh, because the recipients lobby to continue them. Uh, that makes reuse, recycling, and wasting less, less uh, competitive, and so eliminating those subsidies is really important. Redesigning products and packaging uh, so that they'll be reusable, recyclable, compostable, uh, easily disassembled uh, is another high priority um, some of the tools that have been used to try to address that are product stewardship and EPR, Extended Producer Responsibility. Um, they have not been as successful as desired uh, for many products and situations. Um, so they're in this hierarchy to underscore that the redesign is particularly important uh, for uh, us to focus on from a zero waste and sustainable resource management perspective. Clean production and take backs, um, having uh, facilities be waste free, factories, um, taking back products themselves from their customers, um, sending back products to their suppliers uh, through take back provisions, product stewardship provisions in their supply chain management is part of what that is all about. Reuse, repair, and remanufacture is a, a high priority in terms of once we get into the service arena uh, for businesses and communities. Um, this is an infrastructure that uh, communities have not been uh, very active in supporting and are just beginning to figure out ways to help expand those uh, uh, businesses because they are such valuable contributors to the local economy. Recycling, composting, and digestion is what to do after you focused on reducing, reusing, redesigning. Um, and uh, uh, they're important parts of zero waste, no, no question about it, uh, but uh, reusing the products, 
designing waste out is a higher priority. Re use of regulations like bans um, and requirements that energy recovery only be f uh, biological, uh, not thermal, or that landfills must have pre-processing, not bury anything that uh, until it's been processed, like in the European landfill directive, requires pre-processing of all materials before uh, burial. So the intent is that only inerts will be buried in the ground to minimize any environmental impacts. And what's not okay, according to the Zero Waste International Alliance, new uh, hierarchy is burning and uh, burying and particular mention is of bioreactor landfills. Bioreactors are ones in which uh, landfills are uh, designed to add water and accelerate uh, the decomposition of the landfills uh, with uh, more control over the, uh, uh, the, the design of the facilities. Uh, but the Zero Waste International Alliance is saying that uh, they're skeptical of, of that being done successfully and um, is giving the wrong signals. We don't want to put stuff in the landfills. It, those are the least efficient ways of capturing the methane if that's the goal. Uh, there's better ways through digestion or composting of, uh, of uh, developing uh, inert materials. The ZWIA zero waste hierarchy uh, details are presented here, uh, highlighting the highest and best use at the top, the lowest and worst use at the bottom. Uh, this gives all the detail for you to see uh, what was adopted in March of 2013. Uh, this will probably be revisited and revised over the coming years as this is the first time ever in the world to have such a hierarchy be adopted. Uh, but it's a great uh, step forward for providing some clarity. Um, this slide ends at the level of recycling and in the, the full presentation of uh, this hierarchy, it has inorganics and organics on the same level in a two-column format, uh, which we didn't keep for this PowerPoint presentation. Uh, but the inorganics and organics are viewed side by side uh, for recycling. Um, and uh, those are the issues that we've just discussed. This is just highlighting how a couple of zero waste plans have already adopted hierarchies of uh, highest and best use. Oakland was the first back in 2006. Uh, they wanted to get clear direction from their council, so when uh, different vendors came knocking on the door of council, uh, council and staff could point to the adopted policy of, of where um, uh, a particular vendor's uh, proposal fits in the highest and best use scenario. And this was uh, amplified by some language, some text in the Zero Waste Strategic Plan underscoring that in Oakland, uh, burning and burying were not acceptable, were not desirable activities. Similarly, in Austin, um, in their zero waste strategic plan, uh, they uh, wanted the same type of clarity provided uh, for staff to be able to respond to multiple vendors coming knocking on the door. And uh, this strategy was adopted in late 2008, underscoring <clears throat> that um, burying and burning are, again, the least desirable uh, activities. <clears throat>